Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, and that is a movie review. I just got done watching The Lighthouse. I don't have any notes made up. I don't have anything going on. I just have a couple things pulled up here where I can just kind of get a quick reference on some stuff. So, uh, if you know anything about my movie reviews, I'm not great. I don't pretend to be. I just give you a quick kind of idea of what I thought of the movie. Just a quick little outline of the movie and, and uh, just kind of give you my thoughts. So, let's begin. Uh, this movie is called The Lighthouse. It stars William Defoe and Robert Pattinson. Uh, two people you probably never thought you'd seen a movie together. Uh, this was released in 2019. Uh, one thing you're going to notice about this movie is it's shot in a different, uh, different uh, aspect ratio, which means not your typical like widescreen or, or anything it's it's like on a 119 to 1 or something like that it's it's on a it has a, a very old school feel to it and not only that it's a uh, shot in black and white and boy is it pretty it is mesmerizing it's beautiful black and white is something that's you know been lost for years and if you know anything about photography black and white is uh, it, it makes for beautiful photography and it can make for beautiful cinematography as proven by, uh, by this movie um, so to get into the movie the very basic plot synopsis of this movie is it's two lighthouse keepers going to this island and to do their uh, to do their job to take care of uh, the lighthouse uh, it's set in the 1890s, 1890 or 1890s, uh, so we're talking a good 130 or so years ago. Uh, man, where to start? <laughs> um, now, it uh, anything that I've looked at, uh, it was just quick online. I just kind of glanced over some stuff. I didn't see anything. I don't want to give anything away too much. I don't want this to be a spoiler, but I, I want to just kind of get my thoughts and opinions on uh, the island. Uh, I didn't read anywhere where the island itself was uh, cursed or anything like that. It's just a really interesting and it's made by uh, the production company I believe if I'm not mistaken uh, A24. Um, they also did Midsummer, The Witch, and Hereditary. And to all these movies, uh, they have something about them, the way that they're done, that just, it leaves you almost kind of awestruck or, and speechless. And you're just like, you know, the whole time you're watching it, like I wanted to shoot a video of me watching the movie because I know I was making some crazy faces along the way. Uh, now getting on the actors, uh, William Defoe and Robert Pattinson, Man, did they bring their A-game uh, to this movie. Really, uh, if you've ever uh, thought of Robert Pattinson as nothing more than a sparkly vampire, which is what I've thought, uh, you need to watch this movie. And I've heard he's done some other good stuff as well, but he's really a solid actor. I might have to look into some of his stuff. But And we all know William Dafoe is just, is just incredible like theater kind of old school uh, actor he's amazing in here as well like they play off of one another and you know they they're they're on this island and taking care of this lighthouse and 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 instantly things just go wrong I mean they're on the island together they're, they're there for like five weeks six weeks something like that uh, I'll, somewhere in there <laughs> and uh, but it just seems like things almost instantly start going weird you know like it didn't take a week for things to happen 
And uh, like I said, I, I haven't seen anything about the island being like cursed and haunted or weird or anything like that. But I believe it is. Uh, the way that the movie played out and, and all the... I won't give too much away, but there's lots of like hallucinating and there's lots of drinking and giving and being just completely you know blitzed out of their minds and so you're wondering if uh if they're drunk and all this is happening or if it's really happening or something it's just it's really uh interesting it's one of those movies that i will watch again uh, because i love a movie that makes you sit there and go with your face you know you're just like almost like what what is it? Man, that's crazy. You know, it's just... And and those other movies that I mentioned, uh, they leave you the same way. And you're just sitting there kind of in awe. Oh, uh, what's going on? And what did I just watch? And that is just some crazy stuff. That's how you want to feel when you leave these kind of movies. Um, but when you want something that makes you sit here and question things these are the kind of movies you want to look for and I really appreciate uh, the time and effort that these guys put into that uh, again William Defoe and Robert Pattinson did a phenomenal job in the acting um, really <laughs> just uh, really a good job and it's something I would thought I'd never see or, or, or anything like that but the movie had some buzz around it and it had uh, some good reviews and some mixed reviews because these type of movies aren't for everyone. You might watch it and just kind of be like, okay, not a whole lot happens, yada, yada, yada. Same with some of these other movies. It's just kind of, they're kind of out there a little bit. But in my opinion, they make you think and they make you uh, sit here and stew in the moment a little bit and you're sitting here like okay well, what's happening what's gonna happen what you know and, and every turn of the corner you're thinking okay uh, you know and then finally eventually in a lot of these movies then something crazy happens and you get that that fulfillment that joy of like oh my god uh, you know okay something happened so anyway uh, I highly recommend watching The Lighthouse and give it a try because it's it's one of those cool movies man it just it will leave you scratching your head and just kind of like what the heck and also Midsummer, The Witch, Hereditary, the original Blair Witch Project I'll promote those uh, all as well beautiful movies all beautifully well done um, I think that you'll appreciate uh, giving these a shot if you like the weird the, just the, the weird creepiness and the weird creepy factor uh, in movies. Uh, I think you'll appreciate those movies. You know, guys, if I guess I had to compare this movie to anything, it would have to be The Shining. Uh, that would be the closest thing that I could uh, even compare it to. Very similar, but very different at the same time. Hmm. Guys, if I had to rate this movie, if I have to give it a score... Zero to five, I'm going to give it, I think I'm going to go and give this movie a solid 4.6 out of five, because I think it's worthy of that score. So uh, anyway, I'm going to cut this review off right here. I hope I did okay uh, talking about it. Um, it's hard to do these movies justice when you're not really good at articulating and, and picking out certain things and explaining certain things a certain way. But I try. I have I have fun with my movie reviews. But anyway. Whew. Interesting movie. Interesting. Crazy interesting. Alright guys. I appreciate you watching my videos. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check out all my other videos. I have playlists with all kind of stuff. You can go in there and look. And then in just the regular video section, uh, I have other, other things like my cycling, stuff like that. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even when scratching your head at times watching these crazy movies and going back for seconds. <laughs>
All right, guys. We'll see you later. And go watch that movie. Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it!